Let's face it, when you gotta go, you gotta go. But here in Japan, they take going to a whole nother level. Maybe you're here today because you've recently heard about the infamous Japanese toilets from shows like South Park and social media or other sources. Well, today, we're going to give you an up close and personal, well, not too personal, experience of what the hype is all about and why once you've experienced a Japanese toilet, you'll be spoiled for life. Japanese toilets have come a long way from the old squat style toilets that used to be common in Japan before the 1980s. But in 1980, the Toto company introduced something called the washlet, which has grown into the luxury thrones of the 21st century and has become the norm in more than 90% of Japanese homes, hotels, and businesses. Other than the seat automatically opening for you when you walk into the wash closet, these washlets look pretty much the same as any other toilet but the true experience begins as soon as you take a seat. You'll then realize that this is a far cry from your typical Western-style dunny. Depending on the model, once you have a seat, the washlet may immediately begin to play background noise to cover up your unpleasant reverberations. These sounds and volumes are often adjustable, so you can choose which sound best covers the sound of your current situation. You also notice that the seat is kept to the perfect body temperature. To do this, the washlet runs warm water through the seat, so you'll never experience that piercing cold shock when you take a seat in the middle of a cold night. You know what I'm talking about. At the same time, the washlet will begin to filter the air in the bowl through a carbon filter system to remove any noxious odors. Now that you're seated and have begun to unload and experience the initial luxuries, you can now take a look at the Bluetooth panel that's usually located on the wall next to the washlet. If it's not on the wall, it'll be connected to the side of the toilet seat. From here, you can decide on your plan of attack after you've finished your business. The graphics on the panel give you a pretty good idea of the main functions, but others are less obvious. Since the panel is likely written in Japanese, never fear, just use the phone because you probably already got it with you anyway, and open the real-time camera translation option on Google Translate. As I've said in other videos, Google Translate isn't always the best option, but you'll get the idea. From here, based on which kind of deposit you just made, you can choose which of your underlying areas you need to wash and how much washing you think you'll require without the disgusting and wasteful use of expensive toilet paper. To do this, just select one of the three main buttons that best suits your particular needs. More on these in a moment. After you've made your selection, the magic wand, if you will, will extend from under the seat to wash away any unwanted remnants that were left behind after your recent deposit. The water pressure and temperature are fully adjustable to suit your personal needs or preferences. For example, if your bum is sensitive or you deal with hemorrhoids or if your backside is just inflamed after a night of overindulging in spicy Indian cuisine, you might want to start off with a gentler, cooler option. However, if you get the feeling like you just accidentally sat on someone's peanut butter and Nutella sandwich or experienced the dreadful upside down volcano, you're probably going to need a little more power. And while the washlet does an outstanding job of getting your backside clean, you may still have to do just a little jiggling to ensure the water jets get all of your affected areas cleansed. But rest assured, the Japanese washlet will get the job done. For the ladies, the red button on the right also offers a special function that could be used to freshen your day during those dreadful monthly cycles. When you're confident that your wash cycle is done, just press the orange stop button on the left. The water will stop and the wand will retract back into the seat. Again, as you can see, everything is fully adjustable to personalize your royal treatment. About the only reason you'll need toilet paper is to dry off after the job is done. But even this is changing. Some of the more recent washlets actually have a blow dry option, so all of your dirty work is taken care of from start to finish, leaving your undercarriage squeaky clean. With luxuries like these, it's no wonder that 70% of Japanese men actually prefer to sit when they pee. When the job is finished and it's time to send your deposit away for processing, just select whether you need a big, small, or eco-sized flush. After you flush, the fresh water that fills the tank will run through a faucet and sink over the toilet's tank so you can wash your hands and save water. Pretty cool, right? 
After you're done, the washlet will continue to deodorize the bowl for a minute or so and perform a nozzle cleaning if it's been programmed to do so. Some people have asked, what happens when the power goes out? Well, in the event of a power outage, you'll basically be left with a regular toilet that can still be flushed with a handle. No special luxuries. Finally, because I know you're curious and want to know, how much does one of these Japanese toilets cost? Well, I took a trip to my local home store to price out some of these options just for you. As you can see here, the prices vary widely between 152,000 yen and 427,000 yen, or about 1,000 to 3,000 US dollars. But top of the line models can cost up to 10,000 US dollars here in Japan. If you buy in the USA, you can also expect to add about 40% more on top of these prices. If you are interested in purchasing a Japanese washlet, another thing to keep in mind is that these washlets do require power. But since most Western homes do not have a power outlet near the toilet, some home renovation and ingenuity may be needed to install one. Well, that's it. That's a Japanese toilet. Maybe someday the rest of the world will catch on and realize what it's been missing. Now be sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time on Discovering Japan.